Hello guys, welcome to Eform TV. My name is Eform Hine. Today we are on a visit to a farm that we are helping to construct. This farm is located in the eastern region of Ghana. And then it's going to be an integrated farm with a snillery. We are going to have a catfish farm. We are going to have a grass cutter farm and a rabbit farm and some other um, small, small farm that we can add to this place. But fortunately for us, um, we have the engineer building the greenhouse snillery. Today we want to learn about snail farming. Snail farming and the modern way of doing snail farming. You know, in the past we used to keep snails anyhow, but there's a real business opportunity in snail farming. So I have with me here um, my engineer who is um, helping construct this whole, uh, making this whole dream come true. So we would like to let him educate us on what he's doing here. Boss, welcome to your home TV. Thank you very much. Uh, sure. Please, what's your name? My name is Chris Sibanda. Chris Sibanda? Sibanda. 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 Yes. Okay, good. Yes, I'm and coming from Southern Africa. Southern Africa. To be specific in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. So yes. this is our Zimbabwean brother <laughs> helping yes. build good farms in Ghana. Yes. Okay, so what are you doing here? Okay, here we are building... Um, uh, three sets of snail greenhouses. Okay. It's a patent um, product that we have set down mm -hmm. and calculated the amount of snails that can live inside this greenhouse and be able to produce okay. the relevant amount of snails that we want, nice. the targeted amount that we want. So it's a set program that is not something that we're just picking in from. It's something that we set down, okay. we studied it, okay. and we patented it. Okay. So the size of this uh, snail greenhouse is mm -hmm. seven meters. It's going to be seven meters mm -hmm. wide. Mm -hmm. From this end to that end is seven, seven meters. meters. Okay. Then from that end to that end is mm -hmm. five meters. So that's the first uh, house. That's the first house. Okay. And the second one and the third one, they will be the same. Same size. Yes, yeah, the same Three. size. They, they okay. don't change. Okay. Now this is what will happen now is uh, around the, the the each greenhouse we are mm -hmm. going to put a UV paper. UV paper. Yes, that paper is an ultraviolet paper. Okay. What it does is um, it doesn't rot. Okay. And it doesn't allow the insects okay. or predators. any other predators that will come inside. Okay. So as you can see, we mm -hmm. are going to here. Mm -hmm. The paper will come here. Mm -hmm. It will start from here and go down. Down. Yes. Okay. So from this area all around the greenhouse here is going to be paper. Okay. Then from here, you know, these predators, when the, the height is elevated, yeah. they don't come. Yeah. So we are, from here now, we are going to raise and put in the 60% uh, shed. Shed, yes. okay. And okay. then what we do is, when we have done the whole project around, mm -hmm. you know, we use, uh, uh, we are going to use used oil. Used oil. Yeah, used oil is an environmental friendly thing that we are going to spread around the net. Okay. That will also scare away you know any you mean insect, used engine oil used engine oil here we call it dirty oil ah it's dirty oil we're Good. just going to use it around to okay yes okay but the beauty of the of this snail greenhouse is you know the mm -hmm. the thing that actually made us to venture into this project mm -hmm. we want you to have an assured catch okay if you're going to the bush you may never be assured you are going to get this thing yeah but here we want to make sure that at the back of your yard mm -hmm. you can have your catch in there okay this is what will happen is when we build the snail greenhouse we are going to introduce uh, the water system we're going system. to have the water reticulation coming in here okay and then we're going to construct we're going to put in and install an irrigation, irrigation system. system okay that will have the sprinklers okay. why are we doing this we want the snails to feel that they are still in the bush so this place will be filled with greenery. Okay. Uh, you know, when we studied trussolus, uh, when it started, it started with the small boxes, metal okay. boxes. But yeah. Yes. And what was actually happening was that it's easily accessible to people. It's at home. Yeah. They'll go there, open up, they're disturbing the Yeah, snails. they're disturbing the snails. This concept will not disturb the snails. So the snails will feel like they are still in nature. They are still in nature. So what it means is they will give you the appropriate yields. Okay. If we put in a thousand snails here, mm -hmm. we are sure that within a certain period of time they should multiply to 10,000. Okay. So I don't think anyone can chop 10,000 snails. No, one time. so this is a serious so commercial. Is, 
You are going to put more money in, in your, your pocket. pocket. You are going okay. to chop some and then we'll be able to put some in your pocket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is the concept. This is what okay. we are trying to do. Not only that, because the system is semi-automated, well, mm -hmm. it's just a touch of the of the tape. Tap. Everything is going on. So what yeah. it means is an older person can manage it. Okay. So we are creating employment, employment. for the aged ones. Okay. You know, you have le left your work. You want to sit at home, you just don't sit. Mm -hmm. You'll be coming up here, turning the because tap this is on not any hard off. labor. Exactly. Yeah. So a house a housewife can mm. also do that. The husband is at work, the yeah. woman will come yeah. and work yeah. here. Yeah. The youth can also do this. Can job. come in and also do it in. Okay. So that is the whole package. That's why we decided no man, come on. Let's grow bigger okay. and get this thing and get it okay. done. So you are building bigger greenhouses for yes. snails. Yes. Um is this new to this region or have you done some in other regions in Ghana? Oh yeah, we have done, we have, we have gone through to the Volta in Sogakope. Okay. We have planted some in there. Okay. We have done, we have gone through to Komasi in Homasi. We have put in down there. Okay. We have gone into Koforodia. Okay. In the other Koforodia in, in uh, um, Adoso. Yeah. We have put in one there in Adoso. Okay. We have gone to Athenia. Okay. That is Mabole. Okay. We're putting some there. Oh, okay. We've gone to Amasaman. We've gone so to means Teshi. People are really we patronizing. Have, oh, yeah. Okay, so we have three sets of greenhouses here. Yes. How many snails is each one going to contain? Each, initially, we're putting a thousand snails on each greenhouse. So we have 3,000 snails here? Yes. Wow. That will ultimately give us 30,000 because what we are saying is when they are they are in their environment here they will produce produce more so we expect that each tent should give us ten thousand ten thousand so ten thousand here within 10, the period here, then... that they are laying yes that they are laying very well yes. very well so um like i said this is a serious commercial farm that we are doing here um the snailery that is going to contain three thousand snails and then each house each greenhouse is expected to give us ten thousand so we're expecting about thirty thousand snails in the period that the snails are laying so uh, guys this, this is an exciting project that you need to engage so those who are interested in snail farming there is a modern new way of doing snails please don't be using your small boxes and everything I expect that you will get the benefits or the returns that's this proper greenhouse that will make the snails feel like they are at home or they are in the bush and so they're able to produce at their maximum. So you said we are going to cover this shed yes. with 60% uh, netting, netting yeah. which means that we are going to also allow sunlight, Yes. 40% sunlight. Yes. Okay, so... Yes. And uh, it's cool, you know, we, like I'm saying, we started it in here. Mm -hmm. If you come in and this project is, is complete, is, is complete yeah. you stand outside and then you come inside, you feel the difference. Okay. Yes. Okay. The place there's is a, cool. There's, there's a temperature that's going to be maintained yes, inside. Yes. yes. Whoa, For the environment whoa, whoa, that will whoa, make the snails feel comfortable. Whoa, whoa. So how long is a project like this supposed to take? Okay. We are estimating that uh, within the next ten, seven to ten days, okay. we should be done. Okay. Yes. So maximum ten days. Maximum ten days. Are done. Are done. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yes. So guys. Um, I'll leave the details of Mr. Chris yes. in our description. Yes. If you want to construct a snail farm, the modern way of doing snail farming, you can take the details or his contact in our description. Give him a call and then I'm sure take he will come fix you and uh, sure. get you a proper commercial snail farm. Okay, so I don't know. If somebody wants to construct um, a set like this, let's say three sets, Okay. What's the budget somebody should be looking at? Well, rough each, estimates each, because uh, each project each is different. Tent, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but each tent roughly mm -hmm. is about twenty thousand Ghana cedis. Good. Yes, just so, roughly. You know there are variations. Variations. Here and there, we yeah, understand. Yeah, even, just, even the distance yes, where yes, you yeah, are right. even affects for the prices. Sure, for sure. But for at sure. least twenty thousand. Just roughly, if twenty thousand, we can start from oh, there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. And I'm sure those who have. Um, done a little research into snail farming would know that this is one of the businesses that is taking over the space in Africa. I mean, when you go to Nigeria, when you come to Ghana and various other places on the African continent, uh, this is a, it's a huge business that people are reaping good uh, fortunes from. So, um, like I promised, we'll continue bringing you whatever happens on the farm. Good deals. We want you to enter into farming by hook or crook. We'll get you interested in farming. 
So click on the subscribe button and then you'll get more videos from us. Thank you very much. Thank you.